Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop where we're living the runaway American dream, totally unsupervised. We're going to put another B&W hitch in today. We're going to get ready to put one in today. This is going on a Ford truck. It's quite a little bit different of a hitch than the other one. I mean, it's still a gooseneck hitch, but it's just made a lot heavier. A little more complicated thing to do. Instructions, you're going to need those. Very important. Bolt kit. More bolts. The hitch ball. Very nice. And the heavy duty center section. This is heavy. A lot of brackets in this thing. I'm gonna take care of the first box. This is a nice box. I'll keep this one. Put lots of stuff in that thing. All right. So we got a center section. Side plates. I don't think we'll use all those. I'm thinking that one of them doesn't get used on this particular model. But we'll find out shortly. So anyway, we're going to get everything kind of lined up. It says it's got a uh, second box. It's Man, it's heavy. It says it has a new installation process. Read the instruction sheet thoroughly before beginning the installation. So that's what we're doing. We're kind of doing a little... We're opening the box to make sure we familiarize ourselves with the parts and the process. I've done several of these four trucks, but I'm thinking maybe this hitch is going to be done differently than the last one. I don't know. No, it looks the same to me. More brackets. Another... Hmm. Another instruction. That's the same thing. Cross member. Cross member. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. That's a lot of parts. It's a little overwhelming. Oh yeah, this is all the same. Oh my. This is one of the harder hitches to put in. Or at least it takes them longer than the other ones. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll go over the instructions to see how it comes out. But it's another B&W. This time we're going to put it in a new Ford truck. Mm, I think it's the 19 Ford. Anyway, it's a newer one with the aluminum body. So I believe it's an F-250. It is a single rear wheel truck. It's not here yet. It'll be here later. We're just getting things lined up for now. Man, that's a lot of shindizzle for one hitch. Got another threaded bar. It looks a little overwhelming, but we'll just have to work our way through one step at a time. Okay, the Ford takes the flat tab to get the spare tire down. I use my own spare tire removal kit instead of getting the customers worn out of the truck. It just saves me a lot of time. But the Chevy actually takes a square one, but the Ford takes a flat bladed one. Get the spare tire down, get it out of the way. It just makes things a lot, a lot easier. Okay, we got this heat shield for the tough spare tire right here. I'm going to take it down, give me a little room to work. It's got three. Three fasteners, so it won't take long to get it out of the way.
pulling it to the hitch afterwards. Hitch in. I'm afraid this is going to be a little more the same as the last video because it's, these are basically the same concept, just a little different way of doing things. Anyway, it says 45 and a half inches. going we might be done next week today's Thursday I know Chad is wanting his truck for the weekend so I don't think he'd be very happy if it's not ready today so we're gonna have to get going with that said people are gonna have to quit coming in I've shut the door I've had the snap on man I've had customers okay now I got to think for a second because I don't even know where I left off at I drilled the hole got that install the side plates okay we can do that In 17, Ford went to a box frame as well. I'm really not too big a fan of it, but at least they made it easy to put the bolts for a hitch in there. Now, the newer Chevys have got a deal too. They have a threaded deal, which is okay, but if the truck is not new when you put the hitch in, it could cause a problem down the road. But this this ain't too bad the way this goes in. The rest of the hitch on this truck, though, is, is uh, rather troublesome. So anyway, this is the easy part. We're doing it first. Okay, here's a passenger plate. It's actually a little bit shorter than the driver's side. Fasteners on the driver's side here. Okay, there's that. Ford already has this bracket on the inside of the four-wheel drive trucks. I don't think they put this on the two-wheel drive trucks. So, that bracket in the kit will not have to be used because it's already on here. Okay, here's the schematic for how these brackets go in the truck. Now, this is the cab direction. And you see this? It's backwards. You have to turn this upside down like you're under the truck. This is looking up at it. Okay, we've got to install these threaded bushings in these top plates. They call these the cross member brackets is actually the name for them. But these are supposed to go in like this. Okay, so there's four of these to do. Okay, the easiest way to remember this is this, these with the flat ones go toward the front of the truck. These ones that are bent go on the rear of the truck. There's two of each. I picked the hardest one to start with to practice on. So that's always a good idea. <clears throat> this is by far the hardest one to put in. That's nowhere close to where it's supposed to be.
definitely goes there. Now this one over here, I don't know. I know it goes there, I just don't know if it's going to work. Oh, it's going to work. Oh, there we go. Okay. I wasn't trying hard enough. I just tried to move it where you can see. I don't know. I'm kind of stuck up under the truck now. I can't really be doing the camera work and the work at the same time. <laughs> All right, that's where that goes. Okay, it's already a quarter to eleven. We've had, let's see, four customers, two salespeople, so. We're not getting along very good. We're going to have to step it up a notch. These back ones are mirrored images of each other. So. Okay, I just want to get these running just a little bit. Not too tight, just enough to get them where they, the plates will stay in place. And I'm talking about in place level across the truck. Okay, we got it then started. Sparkle too tight, but I think it'll be all right. Okay, that's the problem with thread locker. You can't tighten them up by hand to get your stuff lined up. You don't want to tighten them up tight because you got to have a bit flexibility to move your parts. Oh, okay, you here is the rear cross member, and these two pieces make up the front cross member. Okay, we'll take the square tube first and we'll start. Bear with me. Okay, the square tube comes up in here like this. Just like so. But you gotta get it in here first. And figure out a way to hold it up. So I usually stick the bolt in this way on this side, just temporary to help me hold it. what's going on there but it's not working the way. Of course it's not. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it says you use a plate on the back here. I think that just stiffens that out of the tube up on there.
crossbar goes in here like this. Boy, it's going to be tricky. It'd be nice to have an employee. I'm gonna balance it right there for a second. Maybe, maybe not. Oh well, it'd be alright there. Keep your eye on that while I pull it up through the top. Oh man, is it lunch time yet? I hope so, I'm getting hungry. I hate to stop and eat lunch and come back to this, so I better just keep working on it. There. You weren't trying hard enough. That's usually the problem. Okay, there's that side. I'm gonna do the other side. On the driver's side, on the back. And I'm not gonna let you all watch. You're just gonna take my word for it. I actually did it. It says, first tighten the hardware, attaching the cross members to the center section and each cross member bracket, D1. They have a very specific order of operations here. 
Anyway, that's how we're supposed to tighten it right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, you can watch. Check to make sure the hitch is aligned, and it was. Now it says to tighten this one up next. Oh, this is the one that's got the. Oh boy. This is going to be tricky because that. No problem. Okay. Okay, that's what we was looking for on the, the main hitch itself, the mounting bolts. Oh, there's a couple more little bolts here to put in for the latch handle. But that's a long time coming. You got the torque wrench out. We got it tight. We got to tighten her down. Torque them down. And where was that at? Oh, here it is. Once hitch is tight, torque all 5 8 hardware to 150 pound foot pounds, and all half inch hardware to 110. We'll get started on that right away. There's proof. I do have a torque wrench for all you naysayers. Oh man. We gotta pull the spring out to get to what we want to get to. You're probably not gonna be able to see what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't think they make a camera that can see what we're doing here. Well, I just dropped it. There's the play-by-play. -play. Okay, there's one. I'm a little confused about what's going on here. Or what this is. No, nope, it went right in. Okay. Oh, I should have got my power tool. Okay, here's the handle. Now we gotta put safety chains in. But you know what? I'm taking a break. I'm tired. Okay, I gotta drill the holes for our U-bolt brackets. We'll do that now. You gotta be careful because these aren't right up against the frame, so you gotta get them halfway square. Your hold your drill halfway square, otherwise you have a problem. Phone's going 
going off? What the heck? Oh, who is it? Uh, what? Huh, it's Chad. That guy's got the truck. He says, Let me know when you get truck done and I will come and get it. Thanks. I guess he wants me to hurry up. I'm going to send him something back here. Okay. Well, alright. Let's get going. I guess he needs his truck. We better hurry up. Uh, get to going a little faster. Okay. What do you think? Looks like pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, same deal on the handle. It's made a little different. It's got a flat bar instead of that round piece like the other one. Just take it, you yank it forward. Spring loaded just a second. There you turn it over right there. Latched and ready for travel, transport. Right there. Well, that's going to do it for this install. I hope you liked it, and if you did, I hope you subscribe. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>